Hello violinists, welcome to the Brown Strings. I'm Henriette and today we're practicing Down Up from the Fiddle Time Joggers book. I'm hoping you have watched my video of Jim Along Josie, which was number three, and in that lesson we discussed a seesaw exercise. And I suggest that today we're going to start on that seesaw exercise. Before we can do that though, we need to just check over your bow hold. So check over that your thumb is bent underneath. Make sure you've got the right corner for your, for your thumb, just there, that wooden bit between the black of the heel of the boat and the black of the padded area. There's just a bit of stick visible here and that's where your thumb goes. Your middle finger goes precisely opposite. Pop all your fingers down so you've got a space between your index and middle finger and also a little space between your ring finger and little finger and your little finger is on the side edge there. All right, now let's put the bow down in the middle of the strings on the G string today. And let's raise your elbow, but make sure your shoulder stays in its lowest position. So be careful that you don't raise your shoulder at the same time. Now, I'm going to drop my elbow and see what happens. And I'm going all the way to the E string. Raise your elbow again, oops a daisy. All the way up and drop it again. And one more time, let's raise your elbow, it brings your bow to the G string. Now, close your eyes for me and drop your elbow just a little bit. And now you can open your eyes again and see if you're on the D string. Yes. Now close your eyes again, drop your elbow completely, open your eyes, are you on the E string? Yes. Close your eyes one more time. R raise your elbow all the way, so you go to the G string. There we go, have you ended up on a G string? Yes, one more time, close your eyes, drop your elbow down, and now let's see if you can find the A string. Open your eyes, have you found it? Just about, well done. So that was a really good exercise for you to do, to learn to find these different elbow levels, and that will become second nature, uh, but it doesn't come overnight, because it's very precise as you've, uh, as you've noticed. So practice it a little bit every day and in two weeks you'll think nothing of it anymore. So in Down Up we're going to be starting on the E string and every single note is played with a short bow and our short bows start at the heel of the bow right here and they finish in the middle. So I'm hoping you have got a marker, a bit of sellotape or a, a, like a pencil dot or maybe a little sticker in the middle of your bow so that you know where the middle is. Uh, because that is also one of those things that you will start to feel as well as just like your elbow levels you will start and learn to feel where the middle of the bow is but for now we can use a little indicator where that middle actually is so slide your violin up on your shoulder slide it so your jaw here is on the chin rest this thing here that's it and your violin is really very very close to your uh, earlobe now, we've said not too high, not too low, not precisely flat either, it's just a tiny bit higher than horizontal. And then you want to get, be careful that you're not too much on its side and you're not completely flat, you're just slightly tilted. There we are. Now let's put the bow on the E string and I'm going to count us in and we're going to count for four beats. One, two, three. Three, four. Now lift your elbow up so you go to the A string. Lift your elbow a little bit further. Higher again. Drop your elbow. Drop your elbow. Drop your elbow. Raise your elbow. Well done. 
These black notes here that you've played just now are called crotchet notes and they are played on half the bow usually. Okay, there are different opinions about where you can play them but for now we're playing them at the lower half of the bow using half the bow. So let's practice that again, shall we? This time I want you to count like we have practiced in the second song under arrest. This time I want you to count when you play and I want you to count to four. So you get to realize that there are four beats in every bar. The time signature here says four four. If you look right at the start of the music you see first that swirly thing which is the treble clef. Then you can see two sharps, two hashtags, shall we call them for now? And then you see four four. The upper number, the upper four there means there are four counts in a bar. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. The lower four means the beat in the bar equals the crotchet note. And like I said, those half bows that we've played, those black notes, are crotchet notes. So there are four of those in each bar. Now, that's a bit of music theory for you there. Let's get ready on the E string. And when you're ready, I'll count us in for four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Raise your elbow. One, two, three, four. Raise your elbow. One, two, Well done, that was awesome multitasking here. You play a violin, you know how to hold the violin, how to hold the bow, you know about elbow levels, you know a bit about the names of the notes and you can count while you play. That is amazing, amazing work. Well done for getting so far. I very much look forward to seeing you again in our next lesson but for now if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please can you do so now. Thank you. Goodbye.